For the righty, Bryce Morrow, six foot two, 215 pounds, a 29-year-old from Grand Rapids, Michigan. First pitch in the way, a cutter on the inside half to Josh Romanski, and it's nothing in one. Romanski, a left-hand batter, 16 of 57 on the year, hitting 281. Four homers, which is tied for the league lead. 16 RBIs, and those are first. A toss to first base. David Rome dies back with that attack from Cody Kaufman. Kaufman, a left-handed batter, but a right-handed defender. The Canary is still a little banged up right now. They've got the same batting order, one through nine, that they had on Monday and Tuesday, but they made a couple adjustments on the defensive side. Here's the 0-1. Romanski drives it deep down the left field line. That'll slice foul out of play, and the count goes to nothing in two. Michael Falsetti, who caught the first two games of this series, is serving as the designated hitter for Sioux Falls. Aaron Gretz, who had played first, will catch today. And Cody Kaufman, who DH'd on Monday and Tuesday, is playing over at first. So the Canaries have some nice depth at catcher right now. Three guys who are very capable of calling pitches here for this Canaries pitching staff. The 0-2 hit foul out in front of the Gold Eyes dugout, and it's still nothing in two. Today's umpires, Kurt Brennan, the crew chief, is behind the plate. Andrew Larkin is at first, and Derek Whitfield is today's third base umpire. Rome, the runner on first, and nobody out. We're in the bottom half of the first inning, no score. Game three of a four-game series. Romanski pulls this one on the ground, foul outside of first, and it's still no balls and two strikes. Gold Eyes for a third straight game to begin their home schedule are wearing the forms. Gold Eyes in dark red script, underline on the front. Names and numbers in matching dark red in the back. Home white pants, no trim. And today the Gold Eyes have the all navy blue caps. Morrow's set at the letters, and the 0-2 to Romanski. It fell back the other way, got a piece of a change up at 84. So it's still 0-2. David Bergen having a great series against his former team is on deck. Gorgeous afternoon for baseball. Unfortunately, the weather has progressively gotten better the last three days. It was quite difficult for baseball or anything for that matter outdoors on Monday. A nice evening last night. Today we have a game time temperature uh, plus 16, 61 degrees. Perfectly clear skies. Humidity at 41%. Another 0-2 change up outside. And it's one ball and two strikes. Winds just 10 kilometers per hour coming out of the northwest. The flags out in left field at a complete standstill right now. And it should get warmer and warmer as we approach the noon hour. Romanski waits, and the 1-2. Light shot down the right field line. That ball is hooking foul. Romanski having a terrific at bat. was out in front of a 78-mile-an-hour breaking ball from the right-hander Bryce Morrow. So Romanski started out 0-2. He has now fouled off four two-strike pitches. And this will be the eighth pitch of the at-bat coming up. Romanski, one of the most complete hitters across all of independent baseball. Had four more walks than strikeouts last season. Hit over 300. Another one-two pitch. Breaking ball down low. And the count goes to two balls and two strikes. So Romanski will now see a ninth pitch from the 29-year-old right-hander, Bryce Moore. A correction on David Rome's hitting streak. He's hit safely now in nine in a row following his single here in the first inning. The 2-2 pitch, Romanski fouls it back the other way. So that's five two-strike fouls, and Romanski will now see a 10th pitch from the right-hander Bryce Morrow. Morrow turned 29 years old in January, so a couple of years older than Goldeye's starting pitcher, Zach Newton. One on and nobody out. The 10th pitch to Romanski. Popped up foul to the left side. Jacobs with a look. That'll reach the crowd. And Romanski having an epic at-bat. He'll now see an 11th pitch, and he has fouled off six two-strike pitches. Golides have had some lengthy at-bats here on offense over the first two weeks of the season. Mason Katz, on more than one occasion, has seen nine-plus pitches. Andrew Sonju, an 11-pitch walk during the series against the Wichita Wingnuts. And this will be pitch number 11 to Josh Romanski. Foul back into the left side. So Romanski, at the very least, no matter what happens, in terms of the final result of this at bat against Bryce Morrow, he is driving up Morrow's pitch count early on. The Gold Eyes did a phenomenal job of that yesterday against Joe Bircher. They had Bircher at 94 pitches after just five innings. Another 2-2 pitch. Lifted high in the air. Foul ground. Jacobs hoping for a play. Coming by the foul running track, and that lands about three rows into the seats. So it's still two balls and two strikes on Josh Romanski. 
And Romanski will now see a 13th pitch in this at bat. We're scoreless in the bottom half of the first inning. David Rome on first held by Cody Cup. An infield slight shift to the right side. From the stretch, 2-2 pitch. Line drive to the left field line, and that'll slice foul. And go into the corner. Another good swing. And Romanski's seen pretty much everything here from Bryce Morrow. So Romanski will now see a 14th pitch. He has hit eight foul balls in this at bat. Outfield shading Romanski a few steps the other way at medium depth. He holds the bat high above his head. The 14th pitch of the at bat is ripped down the right field line. That's going to get down for a base hit and roll all the way to the wall. David Rome into third. He's going to be waved around by Rick Forney. Rome is digging for the plate. Gwynn with a relay won't make it. Rome scores standing up, and the Gold Eyes take a 1-0 lead. Josh Romanski with an epic 14 pitch at bat doubles into the right field corner and two batters into the bottom of the first the Gold Eyes have a 1-0 lead and at bat for the ages for Josh Romanski 14 pitches